What's up, brother? Hey. What's up? Mr. Corey Callen, New York Non Typicals, welcome to the hunt portion of Thank the you. Map Reading Challenge. You. How are you feeling right now, brother? I was kind of down at first, but we did a, we did a little. Uh, um, what do you mean down? Talk to me. I just didn't. You were confident? I wasn't confident in my spots. Is the wind just none of my spots were good for the wind? Yeah. And but the deer sign. We just did some just drive saw a path. We just kind of walked it. Oh my goodness! There's sign everywhere. Yeah. I just have to interject that I was definitely concerned for the New York non-typicals going into this map reading challenge. I mean, except for Corey, you know, Joe and Sylvia were really late to the scout and I was worried that, man, these guys just might not even have any good encounters or get a deer. And, you know, as you just saw, Corey was nervous coming into it. He was concerned about his spots and the wind. And that's one of the challenges with the map reading challenges is trying to get enough spots picked out in advance that will cover you for every different wind direction. So if you're planning your own map reading challenge, keep that in mind. Try to get as many spots as you can and ones that will work in the morning or evening for different wind directions. So let's see how Corey made out on the first night of the hunt. Keep in mind that the main way to judge the age of a deer is by its body, its shape and structure, and not the antlers. If you really look at the body of this deer, this is an older deer. I mean, his rack won't score particularly high, but this deer is pretty old. He's got the neck that comes all the way down into the brisket. He's got a little bit of a swag to the belly. That's, those are some characteristics of your five and your six year old type deer. So this is an incredible encounter that Corey is coming into here on the first night of the map reading challenge of a spot that he wasn't even necessarily thinking of hunting in advance. What, did you do any shooting tonight? What happened? No, I didn't do any shooting, but it was a success. A sex, oh success. success. It was a success. Uh, for I would say that was a successful hunt. Couldn't get much better than other than shooting the right. buck. Um, saw two buck. One, I believe, was almost 120, if not 120. Wow. Miles. How far? About 100 yards. Okay. Came across the field and was coming right towards me and it went at 100 yards. And Did you get any footage of him? Yeah. Oh, cool. Real yeah, cool. You'll, you'll see that. And, um, I had a hard time with the camera. I mm -hmm. was getting soaked. So yeah. I um, saw porcupine too, but anyway. Oh, cool. But I had a hard time with the camera because I was keeping it really close to me, trying yeah, to go, keep it dry. dry right and yeah, I yeah. didn't. It just. I must have bumped it, and it's so. Uh, it kept doing one of these things. Every so time. okay, well, let me ask you this: You you, you encounter a nice buck. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's a new day. Are you gonna try to move and get closer to where that? deer was? What's your plan for that? I wish I could get close to that deer, but the way the wind's going to be and everything else, it's going to, it's just, and I, I foobarred the spot. I mean, I had a hard, I had a hard time getting out. Um, I waited till dark, didn't have a lamp, so I was, I was, yeah, it was I was a mess. I was a mess. Folks. That's what, I'm not sure if you're going to show us last, but that's why I'm last. <laughs> Corey is the last interview for the evening. <laughs> All right, well, tomorrow's a new day. Corey, what's the plan then? If you messed up that spot, what are you going to do? Well, the wind's going to come from the south, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. And um, I'm going to try to hit some oak flats. Okay. See what happens. I'm going to say this, too. The wind today, they were they were calling for a south at one point when I was driving here. And it, we, I was getting north and... A lot, mostly north from where I was at. So, can't always trust the, um, we got a car going by, folks. Hold for the car. Hold for the car. <laughs> um, you can't always trust the weather forecast. So, I mean, when you get up and you get outside and you just kind of stand out here for a good 15 minutes and see what the wind's doing, you know, it might work for your spot. So, just keep that in mind in case, you know, that's and, the case. Another thing I've, I've noticed, too, is, um, after you're hunting these hilltops, these mountaintops, I guess, you start realizing if you got a south wind, you're gonna, I mean, you show it in a lot of your videos, your wind's gonna probably it's do going one of these. Yeah, so it's, it's, going just, place, yeah. so it's gonna be a mess. You can't, it's almost like you look at the weather forecast and be like, yeah, 
that's not what the wind's going to do today. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So anyway, keep that in mind for tomorrow. And um, I mean, good luck, man. I think I think there's going to be some shooting going on. I hope so. I think it's going to be a busy day tomorrow, folks, because we're going to be dealing with a lot of deer. So let's go get rested up for that, man. Let's finish eating dinner and go get ready for that. Thank you, Sean. Thank, Thank you, Allen Company. Yep. Kind of nervous, guys. I dropped my carabiner on the ground. I'm in a tree. As you can tell, I'm kind of nervous. This thing, my camera's kind of shaking. I dropped my carabiner on the ground. What am I going to do? down there <laughs> oh. all right I'm gonna torture myself one more time just to show you guys what I went through this morning um, you gotta imagine this being pitch black too uh, yeah so here goes nothing I didn't want to do this Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you some signs that you want to watch out for when you're on public land and when you're trying to find a spot to go sit. Um, this is one you want to keep an eye out for. Well, similar signs are all going to be about the same. It's Relay for life. Good cause, but there's gonna be a lot of people up that way. <laughs> so, I was planning on hunting that way this uh, afternoon. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Gotta switch things up a little bit. It's the fifth and final set of the MRC Challenge. Joe and I are teaming up tonight. I believe Sil Silvio was here too. Uh, he was going to come in a little late. But we are hitting a big travel corridor. And we have high hopes we're going to get it done tonight. Mr. Corey Cowan, congratulations on completing another map reading challenge. Tell me about the final day of your map reading challenge. Final day. Oh, well, we w went after it hard. Yeah. Um, we went out there. We went out there quite early in the morning. Didn't see anything. But uh, Joe and I decided to tag team it. Yeah. Um, and I'll let Joe tell you his story. But my end, uh, I almost got a doe. I got set up and never saw her. She was 40 yards away bedded and she got up about 6 o'clock, looked around and walked right towards the wrong way. <laughs> so, but that was basically my day and then we uh, well, um, figured out Joe's thing. Do you, did you learn anything new this year compared to last year? New? No, I just more confidence. I had more confidence yeah. in the knowledge I had and just went after it. Yeah. And 
I mean, yeah, I mean, you had, you had a good encounter with that, that old buck that first sit there. I've seen deer yeah. every day, so yeah. I can't complain. Uh, That's cool. Well, uh, I want to thank you for joining us. Congratulations Thanks on completing this. And, um, you know, good luck the rest of the season. I hope you get some more deer up there in New York. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll go after hard. Uh, and I'm sure you're not that far from PA. I'm, I imagine you might be slipping down into PA a few times. And, uh, a few times. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank you. Right. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. Well, folks, I am blessed in so many ways. And I think, you know, the guys on these map reading challenges that I have been doing, it, they have been a blessing. And, and especially Corey. I mean, this guy is one of the most sincere people I've ever met. Great guy. And remember, if you want to help Corey win the Bowtech Rain 6, I mean, this the, the view count on this video is going to be a large factor in his overall score and his team score to help them win the XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stands. So if you want to get behind your guys, if New York non-typicals are your guys, help them out. Share their videos, get your friends checking them out, and consider doing your own map reading challenge. Push yourself, push your skill set, and try to improve every year. I know I personally am really striving for that. And I hope to reach a level of improvement each year. And I feel as though I do. And I get there, and these guys get there by doing it. By getting out there, learning from mistakes, learning from mishaps, and adjusting game plans. So stay tuned, because next week we have the Men of Faith. And then the week after that, the Team Maryland. So, And I'm really looking forward to get to the Team Maryland, because I want to see how did Team Maryland do next to New York Non-Typicals, because that's really... The, the, as I said before, that was the entry-level rivalry, rivalry that started this whole thing growing into the challenge that it is now. Stay tuned. Until then, take care and God bless. All right, I'm about to show you what I went through this morning. Um, yeah. I don't know what you want to do about this, Sean, but oh, forget it.